ladies, this is Carla. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. Today we're gonna to do something fun. I've seen several people make these, so this is not my idea, but I think these would be great for my craft fair that I do in the fall. Never too early to start thinking about those craft fair items. So what I'm gonna be making today are, um, I'm gonna call them backpack charms or keychains. Some of them will be keychains, some of them will be backpack uh, charms, and I'm just not sure really which ones will be which. I've got them made, and if I wanted to turn it into a keychain, I'll just add a little key ring to it. So we're gonna start out using hair ties. So you've probably seen these, but this is one that I have made, and this is made out of two spiral hair ties, and then it's got a little um, lobster claw, a little plastic lobster claw up here. Then I've added this little dangle on the bottom. And this would be probably just your backpack charm, but if I wanted to do a keychain, I would just add that little key ring on there. So we're gonna make this one first. And where I got my... Um, little spiral rings. I found some at the Dollar Tree. Then I went online and I found online at Claire's, they're like $2.99 if you order them online and they delivered them to the store. If you buy them in the store, this little pack was $6.99 and this little pack was $5.99. They're different uh, varieties. And then I found some, a little place we have here in town, it's called Five Below. And I think I've already cut apart the larger ones, but here are some of the smaller ones. And these were $2.25 for five. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these or just give these to my granddaughter for her hair. But anyway, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna need are your hair ties. So the first ones I'm gonna make is the butterfly. And I'm gonna use two of these rings that are the same size. And then I'm gonna cut a piece of wire. This wire is 22 gauge wire. And, and it's pretty sturdy. I think uh, I would like to try maybe an 18 gauge. I don't know if it would be too loose. This is pretty stiff, but that's what we're gonna do. So I've already gone ahead and made one of these. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. First, you want to take your wire, and I just kind of estimate around how much it's going to take, but I want to leave enough because the way I do mine, I don't remember how they did theirs, but the way I do mine is I leave enough so after I get it wrapped, there's going to be a piece going this way and a piece going this way, and that's going to allow me just to kind of twist it and tuck it in. So you want to allow a little bit of hanging off there. So I'm gonna take this, kind of curve it in the shape of my little hair tie. I'm gonna come in here, and just kind of run that through. Sometimes this is tricky and sometimes it just goes right through there. So we're gonna get that in and just kind of move your uh, wire and kind of bend it in the shape of the hair tie as you're going around there. Over there, I might have to push that a little more. Kind of push that in. This is going pretty good. Let's keep that going. Yep, I'm almost to the end. Okay, you can see right here. Got a couple more. I'm gonna push a little more. Push this through going there. Always wants to go backwards on me. There we go. Push that up. There we go. Kind of hold that. Like pushing this one. Needs to go through a couple more of those right there. There and get that coming through and just kind of grab onto that. Just kind of pull that around so it's kind of even. Oop, I about lost it. Don't want to do that. <laughs> All right, let's get this pulled in. Oh, about even. Let's see. 
put more here and you don't want to get it too tight now i'm going to say that that's probably it doesn't have to be exact but that's pretty good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take get that up just a little more there i'm going to take that and i'm going to kind of just twist it first the best I can. Like I said, this is pretty stiff wire. And I only want to do that once, but then I'm going to take my needle nose pliers and just make sure I got that twisted. Just kind of go in there. Just kind of twist one going one way and you want the other one going the other way. I think I got two twists there. One is really better. <laughs> but you can bend that down. Then all I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this end, and we're just gonna, I might have to take my pliers and kind of mash this one down a little bit. Like I said, one twist would have been sufficient, but I got two on there and that'll work. Just kind of bend it over. You know, I'm going to go ahead and do this first. So where this is coming out to the side, you're going to take that and you're going to just go down and just loop it through where your headband or hair tie goes. Just kind of wrap that around the wire part and it kind of gets lost in there. Now, when you get to where you really can't wrap anymore, that's where I would take my pliers, kind of bend that over, because you don't want that sticking out. Kind of sharp there. And just kind of take your pliers and mash that down so it goes underneath your hair tie. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. This is going this way. So we're going to take this and just wrap that around that little wire. And that's a little stiff for my fingers. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that over. Kind of just start mashing that in place. And there, this one kind of... Um, sticks up just a little bit because I wrapped it twice but that'll be fine I'm going to try to mash that down a little bit there and see if we can get that hair tie to kind of go over that a little bit and if it doesn't that's okay because what we're going to do with this we'll be covering that part anyway so what we're going to do now is you've got your two circles made they should be about the same. And then you're just going to shape it in the shape of a butterfly. Now where I mashed the um, wires together, where I wrapped those, I really want that to be on the inside. So I'm gonna make that kind of my straight part. And then this top is gonna be the top of the butterfly and down here will be the bottom. So we're gonna kind of make this narrow and just bring that in. And this one just kind of curve around at the top and you just bend that wire like so. You know, this one, I'm thinking it almost looks a little larger than this, but that's okay, it'll be all right. So again, we wanna make this side flat. Well, I don't know, it might be a lot different, <laughs> I don't know. And we're gonna bring in this bottom part. Yeah, that'll work. And bring this up, maybe elongate that a little bit if we can. This side looks a little smaller. But I think it'll go together just fine. So there you'll have your butterfly shape. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to take a 
eye pen. I'm going to take a long one and I'm going to put some beads on here. Let me see. There's some pretty colors. I like that blue. Let's see what we've got here. I've got these beads that I got from Hobby Lobby. This is a, um, it's a big variety and it says DIY and I don't have a clue what the other says. <laughs> so anyway, I know it's a variety and there are lots and lots of neat beads in here. So we're gonna pick some of those to go on there. Then I have this other selection. And we're gonna pick some from there and see what kind of a charm we can make to go on there, to lay across there with that little bit straighter there, I think. So see there, that will get covered. So we're gonna take our eye pen and whatever we put on the bottom, we wanna make sure uh, it's something that won't fall off. Actually, let's see. I'm gonna put a little spacer on there. Mm. Or maybe I'm just going to put a bead because this one, I think I'll just put a bead. I like this color here. Oh, let's use this color. Get it out of there. Okay. Mm, I think that'll work. Let's see. Okay, so if we put that on the bottom. Then what other colors do we want to put? I don't want it to be too, oh, I like this pink. Oh, that's pretty. Yellow, I think we need some yellow. What's this over here? Mm, I think round on the body is going to work better. Let me see what we've got up here. See any of these? I don't know if these are small enough. What's this little one here? Let's try this little flower and see what this looks like. Oh, that's cute. Let me see, because we'll be I'm gonna use E6000 to put that on there. So that's cute. Okay, let's see what we want to put at the top now. How about... Hmm, maybe... Let's try this green on there. Do I like that? No, I don't like that very much. It needs to be larger than that. So let's go with something bright. About one of these bright pinks. I like that. And then maybe a mm, couple little ones up here on top. Let's see. How about two of these little green ones? Let's try this. If this fits. Yeah, I like that. And let's put another little green one up here. Okay. See what that will look like on there. We lay that. Of course, I'll be turning that around. You know, I think it needs to end with... I think I have a little blue one in there. Um, let's see. Let's put a bright pink on the end. Okay. So, here we have our bead selection on our little eye pin. It's going to be the center of the butterfly. Then I'm going to use this little tool. This is called a one-step looper. This is kind of new to me. All of these jewelry terms are kind of new to me. So if I don't call them the right name, it's because I am just learning. So you can see it's got this little uh, little piece sticking out here. You're going to take this little eye pin and there's a little hole. Be 
you can see that little hole in there you take this slide it into that hole I'm gonna hold this fairly tight let's get it out here a little bit too tight there and it's gonna make the little loop on the ends so I've got that in like that I'm just gonna do this hold it all the way around and it cut off the eye pin and made this little loop isn't that nice I'm gonna mash it in just a little because I don't want it coming off if I add anything to that there we go great so get that out of the way and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take some E6000 toothpick here excuse me just a second and I'm gonna put oh, let me see here I think I'd feel better about laying this on top of here put there we go I can see that uh, take my e6000 I'm gonna put a generous amount this looks like it needs to fold in a little bit. So I am going to put a generous amount right in here. Well, I hope it's not dry. Get that opened up a little bit. Try this again. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to put a generous amount because I want that to kind of ooze down in there. So, put my lid back on. I'm going to take a toothpick and just kind of move that around a little bit. Push that together. It looks pretty even for what we've got going here. Push it together pretty good. And then I'm just simply going to, whoops, take my little beaded eye pin and I'm gonna lay it. I want my flower though going this way. I need to tighten that up. Lay that right in here. And if it kind of comes apart, you just smoosh it back in there. Make sure that flower's got glue on it. Don't want that moving around. So you can see there's the center of your little butterfly. Now I am going to move that aside and let that dry a little bit. hold that just a second but don't you think these are darling and then you know I could see all ages liking these all right gonna slide this over out of the way and the next one we're gonna make is we're gonna make a heart and one of the hearts I've made looks like this this is taking more of a iridescent little tie and making the dangle for the bottom, putting a little plastic lobster clasp. And like I said, if you want a keychain, you just add a little keychain ring on there. So for this one, I'm gonna use one of these that I got from Claire. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna use these are kind of an animal print. Aren't these cute? This is a pink animal print. Then you've got your aqua. Then you've got your aqua animal print. And then you've got your solid pink. Those are cute. And this is like a, um, almost looks like clouds. And this looks like rainbows. And then you've got your white solid and your yellow solid. So those are cute. But I think I want to make the pink one the pink animal print. I'm going to try that. 
So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take our wire and we're going to kind of estimate how that's going to go around there and give yourself enough to wrap at the end. I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with this. And if it's too long, I can always snip it off. I'd rather have it too long as too short. So I'm gonna get my wire clippers and snip that. And we're gonna do the same thing. And actually, these are a little bit larger, so they're a little, little bit easier to wind that wire right through there. So let's take this and I'll just start anywhere. It doesn't matter and just start pushing and kind of forming that wire as you're going around. There you go and keep pushing. That up in there. These are really pretty fast to make, actually, and I think they're just adorable. Like I said, I'm trying to think who I've watched make these. Uh, let's see. You can think Happy Mail Queen. I think I watched some of hers. And... Created Young Mama and Serenity Creations. I've watched some of their the, their tutorials. There might be more out there. There probably are. But those are kind of some of the ones that I've watched that I just made a note of. Okay, so this is a little long, and that's just fine. But with this being a little larger, I think I may want to wrap it a little more. However, you do want to make sure you don't get it so thick that you're not going to be able to form it into the heart that we want it to form into. Let's get just a little bit more coming out over there. All right. So again, I'm going to take this up. And I'm just going to wrap it one time this time. Although this could handle two wraps because it's a, a wider spiral. But I'm going to take right here. Right where that crosses. And I'm going to try to just do that quick twist. One twist. And this is longer than I need on this side. Take my wire cutters and that's plenty. Snip that off. And again, I'm just going to take... This one's coming this way. You want to just wrap it, keep wrapping until you go under all those little spirals. And then that little part that wants to stick out, we want to make sure we get that down. Oop, I lost it. Must be over here. Where did I get it? No, here it is. It's not down enough for me. That came out. That could poke someone. Let's get that in there. Okay, then we're going to come over here. We're going this way with this one. sure yeah so you just want to keep wrapping this one well actually we're going this way I'm gonna come around just wrap get it right in there again you want to take that and just make sure you get that
wrapped around. There we go. That's what you want. Get that wrapped down right around that main wire. There. Okay, so now you've got your circle. The only thing we have left to do with this one is shape it into a heart. So, I'm trying to think. I put the thick end on the bottom, but now I can't even tell where that is. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we're going to try to make a point down here. Well, actually, yeah, make your point there. Let's come to the top and just bend in. Just start bending in and shaping. And you'll probably have to, you know, work it. And until you get kind of a little heart shape. And if your uh, wire kind of pokes out down at the bottom, that's okay because we're going to be hanging a charm on that. So you try to get that in the center because it may poke through. Just kind of keep working that down. And I'm going to take this and try to mash that down. I may just take my pliers with that. That is really sticky up. There, that's better. So you just work with it until you're satisfied with the shape. And for now, I think that's just fine. It's got me a little place right down here that I can add my charm to. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a uh, Another little jump ring. Oh, not jump ring. Little um, eye pin. Take an eye pin. I'm just going to use a long one. That way, if I need to cut it off, I can. And let's see. We're going to go this way because we're going to add something else onto that. What do we want on here? That is so cute. Uh over here I'm gonna make sure my glue is still holding the way I want it to all right for the bottom I think I'm gonna need a small bead to kind of hold everything in place that's got a large hole but I think it's okay yeah that's fine I don't know I kind of like this this white flower let's see if we can get through here what's this look like Okay, I think I'm going to just stick with the light colored bead and do another one of those. I think that's all we're going to put on that and then we'll add this dangle on that. So let's go ahead. And what we're gonna do is, let's see, how do I do that? Oh, I know how I did that. All right, we're doing this one a little bit different. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna just put it through this hole. What I had done on the other one is I, where I connected the wires here, I just left one of those long and strung some beads on that and then um, curled it up, but I think we're going to do this, I think. Looks like that's what I did anyway. Let's see, I want this to come through here. The... There we go. Yeah, I want that to come up here. And actually... I think I'm gonna wire wrap this. I'm gonna bring this out. Kinda go around down here where this hook's on. Get my little 
tools here. Wrap this around there. There, that looks good. And I don't need to wrap all that. I just want to wrap it about one more time, maybe. Then I am going to nip that off. And I'll just fold that in. That bent up in there, so that looks good. Okay, so now we've got this little dangle there. Get that on there a little better. There. And now we're going to take, this time, ooh, I got that real really up in there. This time we're going to take a head pin. Um, head pin is like an eye pin, except it has like a little, kind of like if you think of a nail, like a little head on the end of it. This has that little head on the end, so when you put something on there, you're not going to have a loop, but you're going to have your uh, end right here, a little flat end. Now let's see, what do we want to put on here? Um, but you know what? I think I am going to use an eye pin because I'll show you. I did something different. I want to show you how I did it. Okay, let's go ahead and get this done. Let's get some. I'm not going to put that many because I want to show you what I've, what I've done. It was really cool. I liked it a lot. Uh, let's go with how about I got this container of beads. Actually, it's in a bag, and I put this container in there. I'm going to take, and it's all different sizes of these little kind of striated, faceted, clear little crystal beads. I think I'm going to put one on the bottom there. Then I'm going to put, I need some, shall we stick with pink? Okay, let's do a bright pink. And do we have any more white? What have we got in white? Or let's do one of these, this is cute. This reminds me of a little top. Put that on there. And I think I'm gonna add another little crystal. A smaller one. Is it the same size. That one's large. Larger than the one I want. That's good enough. And then I think that's all I'm going to do, and I'll show you why. Okay, we're going to take this through here again. Well, I think I want to actually cut this, and then we'll do a jump ring on that. So use my little one-step tool, one-step looper. Get your bead to stop about right there. And then just pull this around all the way until it makes your little loop for you and it cuts that off. And we're going to take a little jump ring. It's a little large. Try this one. 
we can get this one to work. So we're going to take our little pliers here. Get this up. Pull this apart. It's hard for me to see that little bitty uh, seam there. I think I got it. Twist that apart. Kinda. <laughs> okay, let's hook that on. Oops, let's go ahead and put it on here first, maybe. And this one. Not a very big ring, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky for me. I can hold that. Just gonna shut that up. Gonna close this together. Hmm. Said you need two of these. Maybe this is why. Two of these little set suppliers. Let me get down here. I can't reach it. There we go, maybe. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna squeeze that in a little bit. All right, there we got that. Now, the fun part I gotta show you. I just gotta show you this. Um, I have a lot of flat backs, okay? And so, I ordered this neat little tool that allows me to turn all these flat backs into charms. And you may be familiar with it if you've done this a lot. And I think what I'm going to do, I've made this unicorn, this little lollipop, this little unicorn. Oh, here's a cat. I think I like the cat. Okay, I want to get another little jump ring. And I might get a little bit bigger one this time. stuck together. Excuse me. Now I'm going to take this. Oh, I'm going to do cat. That's right. Take this little jump ring. This little cat on here. Ah, I'm not real coordinated with this yet. Oh no, did I lose my jumping? Hold on. Okay. Found my jump ring and got my little cat attached. Now, the last thing we're going to do on here is take my little plastic lobster claw. I think I got these at Hobby Lobby and they were 50% off when I got those. And we're just going to take a, a sturdy um, jump ring here to attach that. I think that's big enough. Hmm, we'll try this. I think it's big enough. Pull that apart. I'm just gonna hook it up here on the corner around that wire. Just pull that back. And put 
put your lobster claw on there. And like I said, if you want to do a um, keychain, you just simply get a key ring and put on there. I'm afraid I'm going to lose this. Come back, come back. Oh. <laughs> come back up there. Well, here we go. Let's hold on to this. It's kind of awkward for me. I'm not used to using all these tools, but it's fun. This has been fun. Okay, let's just fold that back. Oh, that went together nice. Oh, you know what I did. I forgot to put the lobster claw in there. All right, try this again. Now, just put bend those back. Of course, it's not going to be as good as it was the first time. But it's not bad. Let me get this. All right, that's on. And my cat came off. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of trouble here. All right, let's see if we can, not my cat, my whole dangle. Let's get this back on there. Probably need magnifying glass, knowing me. Oh dear, come on. Can't see very well. well. I can see pretty well. All right, stay there and let's crimp you together. All right, I got it that time. There we go. All right, so there is your little backpack charm, or you could turn that into a keychain, however you would want to do it. Now, I'm going to show you real quick my little tool. I think it's just called, let's see, this is what it is. It was called a mini hand drill. And it's got lots of little bits with it, and it shows you how to load it. But anyway, it comes, and it looks like this. And you plug it into your computer or, um, you know, some type of a USB mount. I just happen to have an OTS light that has a plug-in on it, so I can plug it into that. So I just put it in that. I haven't tried to see if it would fit in an iPhone uh, plug-in, but it, it might. Then you just load it, and your off and on switch is right here. And you just, this is like a lollipop, so I'm going to put a hole up here in the top and see if I can make a charm out of that. So I'm going to turn it on. You can hear that drilling. And I'm going to try, it's kind of a smooth edge there. I'm trying to go down. I think I did pretty good. And you just turn that off, clean that off. Take one of your little, and it comes with all of these little eye hook screws. I'm not sure if that's what they're called, but... That's what I'm calling them. And I found that when you start hitting resistance, when you're screwing this in, you need to stop. Or you can screw your, um, your screw into. That's it. There we go. I'm just going to turn. Push as I go. Okay, I'm starting to get a little resistance, so I'm going to stop there. There. I didn't get that right in the middle, but as a charm, it could hang like that. But you can just make any charm you want. Isn't that cool? Okay, I had to share that with you. Now, I'm going to quickly share all these little keychain backpack charms that I've made. Uh, this one... I'm not going to be able to finish it because we do have to let that glue dry 
and as you can see it's kind of oozing down but that's good I want that to be on both sides to hold that together but you would finish that off the same way you would make your little dangle here and hang off and just do it the same way but add your little lobster claw or a keychain ring whatever you'd want to put up there and here is another butterfly that I've made out of the more of the iridescent little uh, hair ties and here's one of the heart ones get out of your way here uh, here's another one cute these are like I said pretty fun pretty cute and this one I just kind of played around with. I thought, well, what would happen if you put three of them together? And it kind of looks like a flower. And I didn't put any dangles on it, but I thought, because I thought that was kind of enough on that. And so on this side, I put a rainbow. And this side, I put a little uh, unicorn or something like that. And there, I made this one. I don't have a dangle on that, and some of them I may not put big dangles on. Here is another, let me get this out of the way. Try another little heart, purple. That there. Here's kind of a turquoise, silver and black. You can see that. And here's a little heart. I found these beads at Hobby Lobby. They're by Bead Design. And they were 50% off. And I, those are the cutest beads and go with so many different colors. Love, love, love those. Then I made, there's another butterfly out of kind of the coral. You can see that bead on there just goes with just about everything. Then let's see, here's another little yellow heart. Again, I've used that bead. And here's another one, the turquoise. And you can see the dangle, the heart. Uh, a couple more here. Here's another black one with the pink and black. And the last one, here is one that I have taken one of my flat back lollipops and made a charm out of with my little tool. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And like I said, I'm getting ready for my craft fair and I'll package these up really cute. And I think I'll probably sell them. I don't know, I gotta think about the beads you've got in there. I might sell them for four or five five dollars I'm not sure somewhere in there I'll probably be back to share with you before my craft fair which is a few months away and I'll probably have decided more by then but anyway thank you for stopping by today if you have not had a chance to subscribe please subscribe I appreciate it so much and I hope you're having a wonderful day and until next time bye bye